After years of chasing superficial success, I found myself surrounded by wealth, but devoid of respect. I was once blinded by the allure of social status, but each step up the ladder seemed to strip away a piece of my soul. I remember the nights spent at lavish parties, drowning in luxury, yet feeling utterly alone. The more I invested in creating an impeccable image, the more hollow I became. My relationships were transactional, built on mutual exploitation rather than genuine connection. My conversations were shallow, centered around the latest trends and who was seen with whom, rather than meaningful dialogue about values and purpose. There was a point when I had everything I thought I wanted, the car, the house, the recognition. But behind the closed doors of my pristine home, I was a wreck. I craved authentic connections and a sense of fulfillment that no amount of money could buy. The irony was cruel. The higher I climbed, the further I drifted from the person I wanted to be. I had become a shell, a facade, a walking contradiction of success without substance. Join me on a raw, unfiltered journey as I unveil the seven insidious habits that can instantly destroy your status. These are not the comfortable truths society feeds you, but the brutal, controversial realities that few dare to confront. My personal experiences are a testament to these harsh truths, and my hope is that by sharing them, I can help you avoid the same pitfalls. Buckle up. This is going to be a bumpy ride. 1. Pursuing Wealth Over Wisdom In today's society, the mantra of more is better dominates our mindset. The relentless pursuit of wealth often takes precedence over the pursuit of wisdom and personal growth. I was no exception. I was driven by the belief that accumulating money would grant me the respect and admiration I craved. The allure of luxury, the comfort of financial security, and the power that came with a swollen bank account were intoxicating. I equated success with the number of zeros in my bank balance, believing that wealth would solve all my problems and elevate my status. But as the saying goes, Money can buy the husk of many things, but not the kernel. I soon discovered the truth behind this adage. My single-minded focus on wealth came at a great cost. I neglected the development of my character, overlooked the importance of wisdom, and failed to nurture meaningful relationships. My conversations revolved around investments, profits and acquisitions, leaving little room for intellectual growth or genuine human connection. I recall a particularly sobering moment when I attended a high-profile business event. Surrounded by influential figures, I should have felt on top of the world. Instead, I felt empty. The discussions were devoid of substance, the interactions were superficial, and despite the opulence, I felt a profound sense of isolation. It was in that moment I realized that my relentless chase for wealth had stripped me of my authenticity and depth. Wealth can indeed open doors and provide comfort, but it cannot buy respect or wisdom. True respect is earned through the demonstration of character, integrity and wisdom, qualities that cannot be purchased but must be cultivated. By prioritizing wealth over wisdom, I had lost sight of what truly matters. I had become a person who was rich in assets but poor in spirit and intellect. The irony was stark. While I had amassed considerable wealth, I had inadvertently lowered my status among those who valued wisdom and authenticity. I became a symbol of what not to aspire to, a cautionary tale of misplaced priorities. It was a humbling realization that transformed my perspective. Chasing wealth at the expense of wisdom is a perilous path. It leads to a hollow existence where one's true potential is stifled by the relentless pursuit of material gains. To achieve genuine status and respect, one must seek a balance. Pursue wisdom, enrich your mind, and let your actions reflect a depth of character. Wealth may come and go, but wisdom endures, providing a foundation for a life of true substance and respect. 2. Seeking validation from others 
constantly seeking approval and validation from others is a clear sign of insecurity and low self-worth. It shows that your sense of self is dependent on external factors, making you vulnerable and easily manipulated. True status comes from within, from a steadfast belief in oneself and one's values, not from the fickle opinions of others. In an age where social media reigns supreme and every moment of our lives is curated for public consumption, the temptation to seek validation from others has never been stronger. I was ensnared by this trap, living for the approval of others, craving the likes, comments and accolades that made me feel worthy, even if only temporarily. I remember the constant need to present a perfect image, to be seen at the right places with the right people, and to showcase a life that others would envy. My self-worth became entangled with the praise and recognition I received. I was no longer living for myself, but for the fleeting approval of a digital audience. This relentless pursuit of validation was exhausting and ultimately unfulfilling. There was a time when I spent hours meticulously crafting posts, ensuring each detail of my life seemed flawless. The likes and comments that followed provided a brief dopamine hit, a momentary high that quickly faded, leaving me craving more. I was addicted to external validation, and my self-esteem became a roller coaster, rising and falling based on the opinions of others. The turning point came when I realized how hollow and insecure I felt. I was living a life dictated by others' expectations, not my own values or desires. My decisions were driven by the need to be liked and admired, not by what truly mattered to me. This external focus made me vulnerable as I was constantly adjusting myself to fit the mold that others created. I recall a particularly painful moment when a close friend pointed out how disconnected I had become. You're always seeking approval, she said, but what do you really want? Her words stung because they were true. I had lost sight of my own aspirations and values, becoming a puppet to the whims of others' opinions. Seeking validation from others is a sign of insecurity and low self-worth. It reveals a dependence on external factors for one's sense of self, making one easily manipulated and unstable. True status and self-respect come from within, from a steadfast belief in oneself and one's values. This inner confidence cannot be shaken by the changing tides of public opinion. To reclaim my sense of self, I began to focus on what truly mattered to me. I started setting goals based on my values, not on what would impress others. I learned to appreciate my achievements, regardless of whether they were acknowledged by others. This shift was liberating. I found a deeper sense of satisfaction and confidence that no amount of external validation could provide. True status and respect come from an inner strength and confidence that are not reliant on others' approval. When you seek validation from within, you become less susceptible to the fickle opinions of the crowd. You stand firm in your beliefs and values, earning genuine respect and admiration. In the end, it's not the external validation that defines your worth, but the unwavering belief in yourself. 3. Avoiding conflict and discomfort Avoiding conflict and seeking comfort at all costs is a display of cowardice. Life is filled with challenges that require courage and resilience. By shirking away from difficulties, you demonstrate a lack of strength and fortitude, qualities that are essential for earning and maintaining respect. Embrace conflict and discomfort as opportunities for growth and you will rise in the eyes of others. In a culture that often glorifies convenience and ease, it is tempting to avoid conflict and discomfort whenever possible. I too was seduced by this illusion of a frictionless life. I believed that by sidestepping confrontations and steering clear of difficult situations, I was maintaining harmony and preserving my peace of mind. 
Little did I realize that this avoidance was slowly eroding my integrity and diminishing my status in the eyes of others. Avoiding conflict is often seen as a way to keep the peace, but in reality, it is a sign of cowardice. I learned this the hard way. There were numerous instances where I chose the path of least resistance, opting to stay silent rather than voice my true opinions. In meetings, I nodded in agreement even when I disagreed. In relationships, I avoided tough conversations, fearing the discomfort they would bring. Each time I avoided conflict, I felt a piece of my self-respect slip away. One of the most poignant examples of this was in my professional life. I worked with a colleague who consistently took credit for my ideas. Rather than confronting him, I chose to stay silent, hoping the situation would resolve itself. This avoidance not only allowed the behavior to continue, but also signaled to others that I was unwilling to stand up for myself. My reputation suffered as a result. I was seen as a pushover, someone who lacked the courage to defend their work and their principles. Seeking comfort at all costs is equally detrimental. It leads to a stagnant life, devoid of growth and progress. I found myself stuck in a routine, choosing the familiar over the challenging. While this comfort zone felt safe, it was also suffocating. It prevented me from taking risks, from pushing my boundaries, and from discovering my true potential. The turning point came when I realized that avoiding conflict and discomfort was not preserving my peace, but rather stunting my growth. I decided to confront my fears head on. I began to voice my opinions, even when they were unpopular. I addressed issues directly, even when the conversations were uncomfortable. I embraced challenges, knowing they were opportunities for growth. One of the most transformative experiences was when I finally confronted my colleague who had been taking credit for my work. It was a difficult conversation filled with tension and discomfort, but it was also liberating. By standing up for myself, I regained my self-respect and earned the respect of my peers. I demonstrated strength and resilience, qualities that are essential for earning and maintaining true status. Embracing conflict and discomfort is not easy, but it is necessary. Life is filled with challenges that require courage and resilience. By facing them head on, you demonstrate strength and fortitude. These qualities are essential for earning and maintaining respect. When you embrace conflict and discomfort as opportunities for growth, you not only rise in the eyes of others, but also in your own eyes. True status is not about living a life free from conflict and discomfort, but about navigating these challenges with courage and integrity. It is about standing firm in your beliefs, even when it is difficult, and embracing discomfort as a catalyst for growth. By doing so, you build a life of genuine respect and high regard, one that is not easily shaken by the trials of life. 4. Being a People Pleaser Striving to please everyone often results in pleasing no one, least of all yourself. People-pleasers are seen as weak and indecisive, unable to stand by their convictions. In attempting to gain favor, you lose authenticity and integrity, both of which are crucial for genuine respect and high status. Be true to yourself, even if it means displeasing others. In an effort to be liked and accepted, I spent years bending over backwards to meet the expectations of others. I wanted to be the person everyone could rely on, the one who never said no and always had a smile on their face. I believed that by pleasing others, I was building strong relationships and earning respect. But in reality, I was erasing myself, becoming a shadow of the person I truly was. Being a people pleaser often starts with good intentions. We want to be helpful, to avoid conflict, and to be seen as agreeable. But this behavior quickly becomes a trap. I found myself constantly agreeing to things I didn't want to do, afraid that saying no would make others think less of me. My calendar was filled with obligations that drained my energy and left me feeling resentful. 
I remember a time when I agreed to take on a project at work that I had no interest in. I didn't want to disappoint my boss or my colleagues, so I said yes, even though I knew it would stretch me too thin. The project consumed my time and energy, leaving me little room for the tasks and activities that truly mattered to me. I was exhausted and my performance suffered. Despite my efforts to please everyone, I ended up letting people down, including myself. People-pleasers are often seen as weak and indecisive. By constantly seeking approval and avoiding confrontation, we signal to others that we lack confidence and conviction. This behavior undermines our authenticity and integrity. I became known as someone who could be easily swayed, whose opinions were flexible based on who I was talking to. This perception damaged my credibility and made it difficult for others to trust and respect me. The turning point came when I realized that in my quest to please everyone, I had lost sight of my own values and needs. I was living a life dictated by others, not by my own desires or beliefs. This realization was painful but necessary. I knew I had to make a change if I wanted to regain my sense of self and earn true respect. I began by setting boundaries and learning to say no. It was difficult at first, and I worried about the reactions of others. But with each no, I felt a little stronger, a little more in control of my life. I started prioritizing my own needs and values, even if it meant disappointing others. This shift was liberating. I found that by being true to myself, I attracted genuine relationships and respect. One of the most significant moments was when I declined a social invitation from a group of friends because I needed time for myself. I was honest about my need for rest and personal space. Surprisingly, my friends were understanding and supportive. They respected my honesty and appreciated that I was taking care of myself. This experience taught me that true friends and colleagues will respect you more for being authentic than for always trying to please them. Being a people pleaser is a self-destructive path. It erodes your authenticity, integrity and self-respect. True status and respect come from being true to yourself, even if it means displeasing others. When you stand by your convictions and prioritize your own needs and values, you earn genuine respect and build a life of integrity and fulfillment. In the end, it is better to be respected for who you truly are than to be liked for a facade. Embrace your true self, set boundaries, and don't be afraid to say no. By doing so, you will cultivate genuine relationships and earn the respect that comes from living an authentic and honest life. 5. Living vicariously through others When you live your life through the achievements and experiences of others, you forsake your own potential and individuality. This behavior is a testament to your lack of ambition and self-belief. True status is earned through personal accomplishments and the pursuit of one's own path, not through the borrowed glory of others. In a world saturated with social media and constant connectivity, it's easy to fall into the trap of living vicariously through others. For a long time, I found myself more invested in the lives and achievements of those around me than in my own journey. I admired the successes of friends, celebrated the milestones of family members and even envied the glamorous lives of celebrities and influencers. In doing so, I neglected my own dreams and aspirations, becoming a passive spectator in my own life. Living vicariously through others can provide a temporary sense of satisfaction and connection, but it ultimately leads to a hollow existence. I realized that I was using other people's achievements as a way to fill the void left by my own unfulfilled potential. Instead of taking risks and striving for my own success, I found comfort in the accomplishments of others. This behavior stemmed from a deep-seated fear of failure and a lack of self-belief. I remember a particularly eye-opening moment when a close friend achieved a significant career milestone. While I was genuinely happy for her, I couldn't shake the feeling of inadequacy and envy. 
Her success highlighted my own inaction and the goals I had abandoned. I realized that I had been living in her shadow, using her achievements as a substitute for my own. Reflecting on these pitfalls, I urge you to consider the true meaning of status and respect. It's not found in the superficial trappings of wealth or the fleeting approval of others. True status is rooted in authenticity, wisdom, and integrity. It's about being steadfast in your values, embracing challenges, and living a life that is true to yourself. My journey through these harsh realities has been filled with painful lessons and humbling experiences. I've faced the emptiness of chasing wealth over wisdom, the insecurity of seeking validation from others, and the cowardice of avoiding conflict and discomfort. I've learned the hollow existence of being a people pleaser and the stagnation of living vicariously through others. Each of these behaviors diminished my status and left me feeling unfulfilled. But these lessons have also been a source of growth and transformation. By confronting these uncomfortable truths, I've learned to prioritize wisdom over wealth, to seek validation from within, and to face challenges head on. I've embraced my true self, set boundaries, and pursued my own path with courage and determination. In sharing my experiences, my hope is to offer you the insight and encouragement to avoid these pitfalls and live a life of true substance. It's not an easy journey, but it's one that leads to genuine respect and high regard, both from others and, most importantly, from yourself. Embrace wisdom, seek internal validation, confront discomfort, stay true to your values, and pursue your own path with unwavering determination. Remember, true status is not a destination, but a continuous journey of self-discovery and growth. It's about being authentic, resilient, and courageous in the face of life's challenges. By living these principles, you will earn a status that is deep, enduring, and worthy of respect. So, step out of the shadows, embrace your true potential, and create a life that reflects the best of who you are.